Hey everybody. Hi. Everybody say hi. Hi. So we have some cousins who are staying by today. Hi. Yep, they're all our cousins. But we're not going to say our names because mom and dad haven't given us permission. <laughs> but I can tell you the other kids' names. We have Ben over there in the red. We have Jaren back there. And we have Caternicus. No, it's Carter. <laughs> yep, that's Carter. All right, guys, you guys ready to watch watch another YouTube video being made? Yep. All right, let's get her done. All right, everybody, uh, as promised. So last week, or uh, last episode, we talked about the uh, Lamborghini Diablo mock that we made. And today, we're going over my... Uh, well, I can't say it's my favorite TIE fighter, but it's 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 one of my top ten for sure that I've ever made. <laughs> and it is the TIE W fighter. So, uh, let's begin. So, we can start with the top view. So, you can see it actually swoops forward to the wings. So, it's not straight. It's actually uh, I got a little bit of sweep to it. And then from the front on shot, you can see why, uh, this is why I call it the TIE W, is because it kind of looks like a W. Kind of fun, huh? Uh, it still has the antennas, like the uh, First Order, uh, the Special Forces TIE Fighter that I have. Um, just to give you a, an idea of size, I'll go ahead and pull one of these TIE Fighters down. So... Uh, I obviously don't quite have enough space for both of them. Wait, the pods are pretty much the same uh, as far as size. A um, couple differences, and they look really good next to each other, I think. I think they look pretty darn good. All right, so let's get into some nitty-gritty on how this sucker was built. So I built an original light gray version, an imperial version. Um, for a contest. It was a uh, Predict the Starfighters of Episode 8 contest. I think it was put on by From Bricks to Boffins. And I, I ended up building five or six different ships that I had to decide on what to do. I ended up submitting a Y-Wing, which I actually don't have put together anymore, but I really liked. And then I built a, a light gray Imperial version of uh, the TIE W. And I decided one day that I... Wanted to upgrade it to first order because I had a, a three first order TIE fighters up there and I thought it'd be more interesting if I had a different one. All right, so uh, this ship is extremely swooshable. It's very, very sturdy. Um, I'll even show you. We can just do barrel rolls and up and down, side to side, and holds together really well. Um, but it's extremely simple to take apart. If you just uh, get the right pressure points, Pops off quite easily. So we've got one wing and two wings. And there's our base. And it even more looks like a W, right? <laughs> All right. So we used the uh, the rear shell of the TIE Fighter for the First Order TIE Fighter uh, for the top because it had the red on the side, and I liked that. We used the First Order TIE Fighter front. Um, oh, it looks like it started to come apart a little bit prematurely. And if we take off this, you can see it's 99% a Technic build on the, uh, on the wing connections. So we've got uh, three connection points with Technic arms all the way through, a couple of Technic elbows to give us a nice strength along the side, and interlaced with just a few uh, uh, Technic bricks, Technic axle bricks on the side to attach our cosmetic details. Um, as you can see, without the top part, it actually swings quite a bit, and that's because of uh, what I thought was a pretty neat idea. Uh, so we took the top plate and we used some brackets uh, with some slopes and just stuck a couple of double cheese wedges on there, and it happened to fit perfectly uh, on top and gives it a very nice definition all the way up to the machine and so the play is very limited uh, the movement is very limited on it 
So with this side, I was able to incorporate a red stripe. I'm still debating. I may actually move it forward so I can have the stripe go all the way from the top down, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I did incorporate uh, an antenna, just like in the uh, First Order TIE Fighter official Lego, um, because I, I thought if this thing is going to be Special Forces, you know, with the red stripes and everything, I want to make sure it looks good. And I think it does. So the both sides are mirrored exactly the same. One of my favorite parts usage that I used on this thing is actually from an Avengers Lego set. And it's, a, it's this piece on the back right here, the red and gray with looks like the fan. So if I pull that off, you can see. And this actually came from a Marvel Avengers set. Uh, it was some sort of a... I think it was a Quinjet. It wasn't the Marvel Cinematic Quinjet. It was like the off the comic based one or the cartoon based one. It came with like a space Iron Man suit, which is why I really liked it. But I ended up being able to use this part on here. And this ship was the reason I tore that one apart is because I really liked that part on there. Um, so let's move on to our uh, wings. So these wings are virtually identical as far as the build goes. But as you can see, I did add a red stripe on one side. Uh, and that's because it's a first, it's a special forces. And you couldn't really tell that um, on the outside of the ship. So I added that double red stripe on the outside to give it a, uh, to kind of give it the definition to say, hey, I'm special forces. Um, so we actually use click hinges. They really don't want to come off though. <laughs> so we'll just take it apart. So I use a couple click hinges on here and they're fit together very tightly around the side of this. We got a giant cannon here. Um, probably the other part of this ship that I wish I had a little bit better is the barring along the outside, the borders. Um, and that's because these don't really come to a nice finished point. Um, it's one of the things that every time I look at it, it kind of bugs me. But good news is, hey, it's not bad. So we snapped that together. And like I said, this thing goes together very, very quickly and easily um, to the point where you'd think that it would struggle to uh, stay together. But uh, in all reality, it actually holds extremely well just with the... Uh, what is it, six studs worth of connecting? Uh, I haven't had it fall apart once on me. So, hey, if it ain't Baroque, don't fix it, as Cogsworth says. Don't sue me, please. All right, so that's our TIE W fighter. Um, I'm really happy with this ship. Uh, it's one of my favorite, one of my favorite designs. You can see the wings are a little offset. Um, so the basis of this design was actually, like a lot of my designs are, uh, they start off trying to build something offline, uh, off the internet. There was a guy who built a very small TIE fighter that had this kind of W-wing configuration. And I absolutely loved the way that he put it together. And I personally think that I took it to the next level uh, and built a ship that I think could totally be seen in the, uh, in the Star Wars universe in like Episode Nine, since Episode Eight's already out. Uh, I, I love that top profile. <laughs> I just think it looks so aggressive. And then from the front, uh, it just looks awesome. It's, can you imagine that thing coming at you? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really, oh, <laughs> now it falls off. I don't think I put it on very well this time. Dad. I promise. I promise it doesn't fall apart all the time. Yeah. You laughing at me? You laughing at me, Jaren? Yeah, yeah sometimes you would. I do. Just a little bit. It's okay to laugh at people. As long as they laugh with you. And I am. All right. Well, it will not break. It broke. I, I, well, laughing and teasing them with people is mean. You're right. Yep. You're absolutely right. Oh, and by the way, this is not for my Lego. This super glue and this Gorilla Glue are not Lego approved items. These I actually use for building uh, uh, homemade lightsabers using pool noodles and stuff. This stuff really holds them on really well together. Anyway, uh, thank you very much. Uh, as a little treat, next next time we do a video, I'm going to be showing you another Batmobile. Except this is a custom, totally my own design Batmobile. So thank you very much. We'll catch you next time. Say goodbye, everybody.